Hi everyone, we are the finalists for FameLab 2015 and we're excited that you're taking the first step to participate in the School Lab competition this year. We know it's very daunting to speak in front of a camera or to speak in front of the public, but don't worry, we're here to share a few tips and tricks on how to prepare a good presentation. First off, what is the outcome of your video? You want to send a clear message through your science topic. You want the audience to learn and benefit something, and even better if it can lead to tangible action. And yes, you also want to win the school lab competition. So audience profiling is important. Yes, you're trying to impress the judges, but at the same time, do note that your video will be watched by everyone in Malaysia. So to be safe, it's better to tailor the content and your presentation so that it can be understood even by a 10 year old. Next up, choosing a topic. There are literally thousands and thousands of topics in science, technology, engineering and mathematics that we have now. But the judges are looking for something that is interesting, creative and current. Now upon determining your topic, obviously you need to know what to say. Therefore you need to do a little bit of research before you can actually come up with your whole presentation. Now what are the areas that you can actually look for in a research? You can look for online resources which includes um, online journals, articles and even documentaries. Now you can also look for video resources that probably other science communicators have actually done before and maybe from there you can actually draw some inspiration and also additional some uh, information as well. But very importantly is that you must verify your sources. Make sure that they are all trustable resources and whenever you are in doubt, go ahead and approach your teacher. He or she will be able to guide you further, verify those resources and also give you a little bit of input on what you can actually do to further your presentation. Now that you know how to look for your content, it's important to know how to package it properly. So think of your presentation as a movie in the cinema. You have to start with an interesting hook to get the audience attention, then build an interesting storyline till you reach a climax, then end with a bang so that it leaves a lasting impression on your audience. Bear in mind that the audience might be thinking, what's in it for me? So bear in mind, your content and your package of your presentation has to captivate the audience and tell what the audience wants to know. Use props if it helps to support your content or to build up your story, but never use props to distract the audience's attention. And a rule of the thumb, always stick with one language. Use either English or Bahasa Malaysia, but never a mix of both. Now that you have your content ready, it is also important to have good body language when you're making your presentation. Number one, make sure you have good eye contact with your audience. A good rule of thumb is to follow the three second rule, whereby you look at your audience or, your, or the person for three seconds before moving on to the next. Secondly, it is important to be firm and not sway around too much during your presentation as that will distract your audience from what you're saying. But it is okay to make strong movements to make a point. And lastly, ensure that your facial expression matches what you're saying. For example, you're happy, or you're sad, or even excited. Remember, you only have up to five minutes to present. Since there will be three or five of you, so don't forget to work as a team. Some of you can be the cameraman, some of you can be the director, some of you can be presenter or demonstrator or even a star. Not all of you must be on camera. Just remember, what matters most? Team work. So there are quite a few things that you need to remember. You need to recognize your audience, you need to define an exciting topic, you need to build content that is verifiable as well as hooks and creates an impression. You need to use props that support rather than distract and remember about body language and time management. And most importantly, practice, practice, practice. 
You do not need sophisticated video equipment. You can even use a smartphone to video you. And remember, it's a science communication competition. It's about your creativity rather than video production. Most importantly, winning isn't everything. It's about putting yourself out there, challenging yourself to make an impact and celebrating science. You do not need to be a scientist to communicate science. So have fun, good luck, and...